If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. One of the things that they're doing now is obviously indoctrinating children with all of the things that are going on in the world. Normally, you wouldn't even tell kids about something like this if there was an outbreak or something. But obviously, with mandating the masks, parents forcing the masks on their own kids at a young age where they're just breathing back in carbon monoxide. I mean, it's just... It's unbelievable what people are doing and how they're buying into this with no proof. But there's so much stuff going on that, as always with social engineering, people are just going along for the ride. Well, somebody sent me this video. You remember growing up, you know, kid songs, you hear songs like the wheels and the bus go round and round, stuff like that. Get a load of this social engineering total indoctrination song. Just what you want to play for your young kids at home and get them to sing along. I'm gonna wear my mask today. They say it keeps sicknesses away. One piece of cloth across my face. I'm gonna wear my mask today. Colors, so many colors. I've seen red, orange, yellow, blue. Maybe right after that, they'll play the cranberries. Zombie, zombie. Because you have to be a total zombie if you're buying into this and you're doing this to your own children. And that's not the only thing that's going on. Because obviously these kids are now going to grow up. This is going to be indoctrinated into their head. They're going to remember. They're not going to know what life is like without a mask. They're not going to know. Because it's not going to go away. And parents are going to keep putting the masks on the kids. Because even when they come out with the, with the vax, they're going to go, yeah, but it had 100% of people it doesn't work on. Just like with the flu shot. Therefore, people who live in fear because they believe everything they hear in the news and they trust in Big Brother, trust in their government, are going to continue to put masks on their kids. Their kids are going to grow up. They're not going to know what it's like to live outside of being a bubble boy. And that's going to be normal. And you know what the other thing that they're doing that they're trying to make normal now is obviously teaching these young kids, even in first grade, about social injustice, this new trend that's going on, teaching these young kids about it and teaching them about white privilege. Now, I can't show you the headline of this article because the YouTube algorithm will not allow any, (laughs) it reads the names of the articles uh, and and it will block it, make it restricted or automatically flag it and give you a strike for talking about these types of things, but white privilege programs are now popping up in school districts around the country, teaching kids about white privilege. I kid you not. This is going as young as to first graders. Now, we already know that they're teaching kids in some schools around the country about 
gender equality, or I shouldn't say gender equality, but about gender being gender neutral and trans and the LGBT stuff. They are just getting the kids from every which way they possibly can. And the parents are going along with it because the parents want to be socially and politically correct because they don't want any confrontation. They want to look like, oh, yes, I'm doing the correct thing. And, you know, just like you see all these companies do or all these athletes do, they say this the politically correct thing. Nobody can have a difference of opinion. If you do, you're a bigot, you're hateful. That's how they label people like myself, people like you who listen to this channel. So listen to this, programs fighting against white privilege are taking center stage in Pennsylvania school districts. A school uh, in the lower Marion section district, reportedly one of the richest in the nation, will require fourth and fifth graders to read a book called Not My Idea, a book about whiteness, which claims that white people who relate to police officers or don't watch the news are guilty of being racist. And kindergartners and first graders will be assigned a kid's book about racism. I mean, why would kids, this is just, they're engineering kids now at such a young age, they're engineering them with social injustice, gender, you know, so that they live in a world where they think that being trans is normal, a man identifying as a woman is normal, that being white is bad, that there are this history of hateful, horrible people, that being a white person, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is the book teaches kids not only to defy parents, but to hate themselves, to hate their parents also because they are white. I mean, can you believe this stuff? The parents send their kids to school, and we know they're trying to get a hold of the homeschooling curriculum as well. Obviously, that I've talked about that for years, about homeschooling, but how it was eventually going to be co completely corrupted. And this is just a way for them to completely corrupt the curriculum because now mo most people are homeschooling. Because of everything that's going on, because uh, this is what a classroom apparently looks like in 2020 if you are going back to school. Have fun inside of a little uh, bubble boy cubicle here. I mean, look at this stuff. Desks are six feet apart. You're sitting inside of a cube. If you're in college, the classrooms, you have to be like four seats apart from someone else. Insanity. Insanity. And that's how it spreads, right? They tell two friends and they tell two. That's how this whole thing started. And it's just every single person now from the beginning who were like, I'll never wear a mask. It's so normal in their lives now. And they're like, I don't mind wearing it. Huh? <laughs> you don't mind wearing it. Do you mind breathing? Because I don't know many people that can breathe with this thing on. So this is the, I mean, this is the stuff that's going on in the schools, right? And parents are trying to fight against this. But if you try to fight against this, people are calling, you know, going after these parents and telling them that they're, bigots they're hateful that they believe that there's you know that black people should be discriminated against i mean it's 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 absolute insanity this world has become nothing but chaos that's what it's become and the children are the ones who are being targeted now and there's a reason for it because their generation 20 years from now they're not going to know what life without a mask is like they're all going to take their their shots Right? Like, and not question what's going into their body. They're all going to believe uh, that, you know, white privilege was a, is a thing and, and they f should feel ashamed of themselves. And if they have white relatives, they should hate them because their forefathers who were, I mean, just all of this stuff, right? And like I said, and the trans stuff that they push. This is the world that we're living in. The children are under attack constantly. And now the social engineering has never, ever been worse. Look around us. Parents are buying into all of this stuff. And you know what really started all this was these social media platforms, having Facebook, having Twitter, everybody suddenly having to be politically correct because everybody's watching. Everybody has to have a statement on something, right? Oh, there was a, uh, you know, an episode at a school that happened involving, uh, you know, you know what? And then somebody, uh, you know, just a regular person, you know, has to put out a statement. Because why? Their idols do, right? Like Kim Kardashian. They think it's normal to put out a public statement. Everybody's their own celebrity. Everybody's their own God or acting like it, right? This is the Masonic teachings. This is what they've indoctrinated people to do and to behave this way. So by doing this, nobody wants to push back. Nobody wants to question anything. 
because they don't know they don't want to be looked at in other people's eyes as hateful, as a bad person, as a conspiracy theorist because they question it. Because now, if you question anything, anything, you're a conspiracy. Oh, what are you one of those conspiracy theorists nuts? Because they become the man, the mainstream media has become so obsessed with us that they have to bring up conspiracy theorists almost every day and every time they talk about something. They talk to Bill Gates, they bring it up every time. Oh, there's conspiracies about you with the vax and you know, and they laugh it off. And then you've seen the videos I've done, right? With, you know, all the conspiracy characters in movies over and over and over. Why do you think that is? To ingrain it in people's heads. But back to what I was saying about the social media and being politically correct. This is why when stuff like this happens where they start pushing and pushing and pushing and there's no pushback because people are afraid to push back because they don't want to be looked at in the wrong way. People are afraid of confrontation. People are afraid of being looked at as if they could be, oh, you know, some kind of a bad person. Everybody wants to be looked at as, oh, you're wonderful. You're great. Can I kiss your rear end? And that's the world we live in now. So the children are being targeted with all of these socially engineered motives Nobody seems to care, but I do. And I'm going to continue doing my best to wake people up and hope that parents out there who have kids, hopefully you'll see this stuff and you won't allow your child to be indoctrinated like this, that they won't grow up in a world where they're afraid to take off a mask that they don't need in the first place. It's sickening. I want to thank everyone out there for listening to today's show. A reminder to check out my website at callforanuprising.com, $2.99 a month. Definitely worth it. I want to thank the patrons and thank all of you again for your support. You guys are the best, by far, the best audience on YouTube. So thank you so much. God bless you and your families.